Hello, my name is Victoria Rose and I do all sorts of construction and building and things that girls normally wouldn't do. Just kidding, I've never done this before. Come along this journey of us building a house as two strong independent women with twine. We got twine. We don't have any tools, just our bare hands and our intuition. I'm gonna get a splinter. <laughs> Where did you go? I'm use this. <laughs> Hello, I'm going to build a house. I know. You guys think that I can't get any more like, um, self-sufficient? Oh, you're wrong. So I'm gonna go out into the forest with- What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I thought I put him out last night. No, he's back. He keeps getting in here. Are you scared of getting stung? No, he's This gone. is the badass bitch hey. that's gonna be building a house with me. <laughs> like, and bugs are cool stuff with me, but bees, I can't because I might get stung. We're actually gonna build a primitive house, but we're gonna go out into the forest and scope the land and build a primitive house because you guys know I can't always be living with my parents. Just me and her. <laughs> like there's no guys involved in this. Who land. needs them? Like, we want space. Yeah. Open concept. Open concept. Open concept. Definitely. Um, maybe some fairy it's lights. Flat land by the Pinterest. water. Pinterest. Flat land. We want waterfront property. So it's just a skip and a hop down here. But it is very wet. Oh, I feel like, do you think we could make um, a, you guys don't laugh at me for my lack of in, uh, experience with building things, but <laughs> do you think we could make a roof out of leaves? As long as we have like a, a top support, like branches yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah I maybe. think that that could work. We've been traveling for a couple days now. <sighs> Update. <laughs> We're gonna find, oh, this is kind of nice. This is a nice little step. That is so soft. Water has soaked in. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's okay, that'll be a pillow for later. You're good, it's got some play. Oh, your camera. Oh, no. <laughs> We'll cross that tomorrow. We'll cross the bridge tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Lots of skunk cabbage up there. Many skunkish. There's like some, some good sl slate right there. Mm -hmm. We might need that for flooring. I don't know if it's be comfortable to sleep on rocks though, but, <laughs> but we'll, we'll do it. But we'll That's do it. We're dealt with. But we can't really cross because like where where are we gonna cross? The rapids are too fluid. Too rapid. Too rapid. <laughs> Rapid. They're way too rapid for us crossing, so we're we're at a standstill here. Like with this type of um, um, material, we could use this to, uh, wallpaper. Wallpaper. wallpaper or paper <laughs> or uh, roofing. Shingles. The thing about survival is that whenever you're placed in a situation, you can eat pine. I think you can eat pine cones. We could toast those. Toast them, yes. Um, when you're placed in a situation, you don't have YouTube. You don't have these things. You don't and you did not prepare before you got lost in the wilderness. So you're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And you have to figure it out. So we are going into this completely unprepared and will we survive or an, oh, we found a brick. Probably not. <laughs> Perfect spot, <laughs> what is that? Cute. I don't know. You can have it if you Baby want. Baby deer, look at him. Oh my God, dun, dun, dun. Dun. <laughs> Look, you it's already built. Farther. Nature will always come through. Oh, yeah. If you manifest that shit into the universe, look at that, well, look at what we happens. Did it. We could use all these sticks. I wonder how is this supposed to keep you from the elements? You can't, you can't roof this. We need something more like smaller and like more um, practical. <laughs> it's a whole tree! It's <laughs> literally a tree. Okay, I'll take this and swivel it around. Okay, I'll just hold the base. <laughs> Fucking hell, like this is, this is way too long. Look how far down <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, we, this is a open concept. See, if you, if you really have the vision that we have, you can see right out into the, to the water, but also the back is kind of more covered. Plus we have this teepee we can steal all the sticks from and put it on here. And then we have, you know, take some of this off and build a roof. It's gonna be better, okay? So this is our new plot of land. We already have this brick and the whole forest to look at. So I'm excited about it. Number one, we want to build this completely without any help from anything at all, except for these pallets for Good. the flooring. I'm still kind of questioning if we should use the pallet because it's just not primitive. We found the spot that we're going to be using. I'm going to get a splinter. Ah, I got a splinter! That was <laughs> this is the beginning. <laughs> my foam just fell into my leggings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't have pockets. Wow, this, the girl stuff just keeps accumulating. Um, no pockets, no tools, intuition.
All right, we're almost done. Just kidding. <laughs> so what we're doing right now is we're creating the base, which has to be the strong support system. If you don't build a good base, it might fall on you and kill you. And that would be a really embarrassing way to die in the wilderness. That's the space we're working with for the bed. So we have that guideline. We just set this down on the block. And then we put this up. It's um pretty sturdy, I say. <laughs> It's sturdy enough, it, it works. It all goes into there. So once we start building a wall and putting things on top of it. Yeah, and then we're gonna moss the top. Um, rumor has it there's some moss across the river. We're gonna have to cross the river to get to the moss. Bring the moss over, put that on the top and maybe put some leaves on top. supposed to be down here. No, getcha! <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know if these plants down here might be poisonous to him. I need to call mom to get him to go to take him back. Getcha! Stop eating things. Oh, you're so cute though. You're so cute. Don't eat that. That don't eat those are skunk cabbages. Right. So this is becoming a challenge of getting this done before it gets dark. Um, we still have to find the, this, the magical moss place somewhere across the, we have to forge the river for it, and there's a lot of gnats. That's the update, but we're doing really well. <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's gonna start getting dark soon, so we had to really hurry and find the magic moss. Magic moss. Yes, we've been working pretty hard. She's been building a fence over here. It's terrible, don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at that. <laughs> Here's, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some bark and moss on top to help keep the rain out if it rains. And we don't really need to do much with this wall, but we might, we might try to cover it a little bit, but there, our main priority is just, um, this is like an overnight shelter, you know? It's not gonna be perfect because we have so little time but i think it looks really nice so we're gonna have to go find the magic moss which we have no idea where it's actually at he said it's down river let's go find this magic moss one when trying to survive don't get your feet wet okay you, you hear that so what we're gonna have to do to cross the river which is really a creek let's be real <laughs> is we're gonna shimmy across the the big log we found in the other video and that's it's dangerous but we're surviving we're trying to survive right here we got to get to the magic moss and we gotta get the slates. This is, this is how we had to do it. This is what we had to cross. Look at those rapids. They could take you and sweep you away upstream. And who knows, the beavers might get you. Who wants to go first? I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. No, I will. Nobody's done this before. We're daredevils though. Yeah, we're badass. This is gonna give me a mage wedge. Whoa. It's gotta really go clench with the, your thighs. Oh, I don't want to 
bounce the tree, but I'm going to try to jump back up. I don't want to throw off your momentum you got going there. Okay, hold on, here I come. I hope you guys appreciated that because I had to shoot across both ways just to get the camera again. And, but we found this big tree. Maybe it's easier to walk across if we get the moss, but I don't know. We haven't, been, we haven't found anywhere we can actually cross because we can't carry the moss. Look at this, this is cool up here. What? She found a salamander. Oh. <laughs> This is steeper than it looks. Okay. Where did she go? Where am I? What? <laughs> she found the magic moss, but it's not enough to. to it's not <laughs> enough magic. I think we need to keep going down. A little bit. All that greenery, all of it, is skunk cabbage. And skunk cabbage smells like skunk, that's why it's named that. I don't know where Lauren went again, I lost her again. I found a little bit of moss, but like not nearly enough to cover our roof. But we're gonna have to like take what we can get and like find something else, I guess, like leaves and stuff. Oh, so dramatic, oh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> like we're not two feet from the house. <laughs> I get our spoils from here over to there. Peace be to you on your walk. Be careful. I wish my shoes weren't so slippery. I might have to walk as well. I can't hold this and do this and do this. Good job. I don't know if I could do that. I can't. <laughs> this is not my proudest moment. You don't cross. You don't make it over. You're really getting it. <laughs> oh God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I'm trying to scoot back. Oh. Oh. Mm, the goods are good. <laughs> that was such a journey for a pocket full of moss. Let's put this somewhere where it could be seen. We didn't have much success with the. That's our spoils. Moss there. So we have to come up with some other way, um, you know have a roof, otherwise we might get rained on because it's gonna rain at eight, eight o'clock. It's getting gray. Yeah, we have to hurry. We're gonna come up with an idea. We're innovative, we got this. New plan, we have no option, so we're gonna use bark and cover it with them leaves and um, use the moss for decoration, I guess, or we'll eat it, I don't know. But we can scavenge for the bark, put it over, and then cover that with as many leaves as possible. If it rains, it probably won't keep the rain completely out, but Comment below if we should have done something else. Choose your own adventure, but we're not gonna do it, so it's not really choose your own adventure. Yeah. Coming off the trees. So it's kind of easy to... Everything is really flimsy and easy to work with right now during this time, so it's a good time to, to build. It is getting to the point where it's starting to get dark out and we still have a lot to do. Um, I'll show you what we have done so far and we're still we're sleeping in it tonight. It'll be in the next video. We filled in the sides in here. We filled the whole roof with leaves and put sticks on top of it. Um, so you can see it's pretty solid. It's supposed to rain but it, 
I feel like it, there's a tree above us too, so I feel like that will protect us. And hey, just in case we get hungry. <laughs> so she got, uh, we're gonna dig out the bed. We decided that this thing is gonna be way too uncomfortable to sleep on, so we're not. Um, we're just gonna put down a yoga mat and straw and a sleeping bag and um, maybe some rocks. I don't know. We have so much to do. We still have to start the fire too. Cause uh, we, uh, we have a little bit of supplies. We have some bars and we have um, um, bean soup <laughs> to heat up somehow. Yum, I, don't, yum. I don't know how, but I'm already tired. So hopefully maybe I'll be able to sleep tonight. I don't know. Um, tune in for the next video of us actually sleeping in it tonight. I'm really scared. It's cold. It's gonna rain twist of the plot there is a bigfoot out here or ewok or something people are really scared of so they don't stay in the forest for too long and it, it's actually true there's people that will not like camp out because of it so if you want to see that it. yeah so we're doing it and um we'll see if we survive or not that's the excitement of it <laughs> this is such a bad idea and it's like not even like a full like a waterproof shelter like it's it took us how long do you think like a couple it's hours a lot. <laughs> a lot of work for like not a lot of shelter I respect uh, survivalists hardcore after this. gonna rain and the rain's gonna come in through here <laughs> and flood us because it's, it's <laughs> just our faces will be wet because <laughs> like that's like where the rain's gonna come in it's totally gonna just like come all the way down we in we did so well. <laughs> well there's a flaw in our function okay that's fine so this is pretty comfy yeah <laughs> yeah it's and it's ours it's all ours <laughs> So it doesn't matter if it falls out on us in the middle of the night. It's ours and we love it. Yeah. That's sexy. That, that curvature. Yeah. <laughs> we put this right here because we realized yeah. it's gonna rain and the rain's gonna come in directly from there. We didn't have enough time to fix that up. So it's what the sleeping bag was in. We're just using everything we have. Um, okay, so th this is the end of this video. Watch us sleep over, make a fire, make some food. Um, get a bath in the stream yes. in the next video. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned, this is really exciting stuff. If you guys don't watch me, we're really disappointed because we put a lot of work into this. <laughs> Alright, stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.